So can you game successfully on the Pixel 3a or 3a XL with a Snapdragon 670 processor? Well, let's find out. So the brand new Pixel 3a is out. The 3a XL also is available and we have the 3a XL in-house here. It's got a much larger display, a bigger battery, yada, yada, yada but it's powered by a Snapdragon 670 processor. Not known for its extensive gaming powers. Now, some of you will say, hey, Thunder E, this is not a gaming phone. Doesn't matter, because some of you will still try and do that anyway. Now, the Pixel 3a retails for $479. You can pick it up at Best Buy. They give you a $100 uh, gift card, so it comes up to actually 300 and something. So it's a cost-effective device, but it's got four gigs of RAM. Yes, it's powered by the Snapdragon 670. You've got a full HD display. How do games handle? That's the big question. Now, of course, usually we play our three standard games, PUBG, some Fortnite, and a little bit of Asphalt 9. So let's take a look. Freeze per second. I didn't do that firefight. All right, so we have done some gaming on this device and the evidence is quite clear. This is a budget to mid-range device in terms of performance. The Snapdragon 670 is, is good for your day-to-day -day phone activities, but when it comes to gaming, 
it differs quite vastly. Starting off with PUBG, where you ran, we ran the game at high, and it ran really well. Uh, it ran really smooth, going into firefights, no issues there whatsoever. But when we move over to Fortnite, it could not run the game well at low settings. Yes, it was low settings and heavy firefights. We got to about 15 to about 20 frames per second, which is just not acceptable. And also you can see how choppy it was playing Fortnite. Now, um, Asphalt 9 ran well, but the graphical quality dropped down uh, tremendously uh, on the game. So I would say it's about low to medium settings in terms of graphical quality, but it ran well and smooth enough. You can definitely play some games on this. PUBG, yes, that will work Fortnite, forget about it. You will probably die immensely like I did. But in terms of temperature, uh, this of course ran pretty hot, around 96 degrees. Uh, so it ran uh, like any other phone itself. So there's no uh, special cooling or anything like that on the Pixel 3a or 3a XL. Now the speakers are loud, uh, they're not super loud, but they're also really tinny, so when it gets to the loudest point, it fills us off. But again, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a low end to bu uh, budget or mid-range device here. Um, so I think overall, this is a device you can game on, but I'll call it average, AKA Daniel calls it average anyway. So if you have any questions, any comments about the Pixel 3a or 3xl in terms of gaming, let us know. Now, if somebody were wondering about battery life and battery drain, uh, I think it was just standard across most devices. I don't know what the battery life is. Again, I have just got the device and we spent most of the time gaming on it. So I can't give you a fair assessment there, but stay tuned for more coverage on the Pixel 3a and 3xl. Any questions, any comments, leave it down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.